So Ilhan Omar was trending on Twitter the other day, and um, she was trending for the silliest reason I think I've ever seen. So let me show you the headline. This is from the Daily Mail. Ilhan Omar claims the U.S. commits crimes against humanity and engages in unthinkable atrocities like those carried out by Israel, Hamas, Afghanistan, and the Taliban. Representative Ilhan Omar likened U.S. and Israeli actions to the unthinkable atrocities committed by terrorist groups like Hamas and the Taliban. We must have the same level of accountability and justice for all victims of crimes against humanity, the Minnesota Democratic Congresswoman tweeted. We have seen unthinkable atrocities committed by the U.S., Hamas, Israel, Afghanistan, and the Taliban. In her tweet, the Minnesota Congresswoman included a clip of her line of questioning with Secretary of State Anthony Blinken during a hearing Monday. The questioning did not include lumping in U.S. with terrorist organizations. So, um, I, yeah, so she either said something in passing or it was in a tweet, and this is what the right is melting down over. Again, the claim is the U.S. has committed crimes against humanity, and the U.S. engages in, quote, unthinkable atrocities. And then the comparison is like those of Hamas, Talib Taliban, Afghanistan, Israel, so on and so forth. Um, so, again, she trended over this on Twitter. And it was nonstop right-wingers saying she hates America and she's anti-American, yada yada. So she responded and said, I love all the pearl clutching that, that the right-wing does whenever I talk about justice for victims of the atrocities of the U.S. or our allies. But twist themselves into a pretzel defending Trump calling our country a country of, quote, a lot of killers. Miss me with your faux outrage. So the thing she's referring to there is um, when Trump did, I think it was the pre-Super Bowl interview with Bill O'Reilly. Um, and Bill O'Reilly said something along the lines of, well, Vladimir Putin's a killer. And Trump's response was, we have a lot of killers. We have a lot of killers. What, you think our country is so innocent? Now, I remember at that time, Democrats flipped the fuck out and went after Trump for saying that. And I did a segment where I said, what he's saying is fucking obvious. What he's saying is something that Noam Chomsky says seven days of the week. And when Noam Chomsky says it, everybody's like, yeah, that's, that's accurate. Or a lot of people on the left are like, fair. But Trump said it in passing, and all of a sudden it's a scandal, and everybody, oh, he hates America, or he's defending Putin, or whatever it is. What he said is factual. Truth is always a defense. Full stop. So anyway, Ilhan's right. Trump said a similar thing. Ilhan said this. I don't even understand the outrage or the fake outrage or the offense being taken at this. I, honestly, I think at the end of the day, it comes down to, yet again, right-wing political correctness. This idea that only the left can be politically correct is just totally wrong. Right-wingers do political correctness all the time. Look at what happened with Lil Nas X when he released the Satan shoe. It was a national scandal and Republicans melted down and literally called for him to be canceled. That's the definition of cancel culture. That's the definition of political correctness. Who are you kidding? They just canceled Hunter for using the N-word, soft A, in a private correspondence in a joking way. Don't tell me you're against cancel culture and then you look for things to cancel all the fucking time. This is the definition of right-wing cancel culture. Because when you look at the actual facts, the United States, we did Guantanamo Bay, still doing Guantanamo Bay. So torture, the illegal Iraq war based on lies, slavery, Jim Crow, Japanese internment, nuking civilians at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, depleted uranium tips used on civilians, and now there's incredibly high birth defect rates in the areas where we did that. The drone war, which is illegal under international law. Funding Al-Qaeda on the ground in Syria, among other places. Propping up dictators, which we do on days that end in Y. The list goes on and on. The idea that we commit atrocities and that we commit uh, crimes against humanity, I file that under the duh category. And anybody who's informed on this or honest would say the same thing. It's the most obvious comment in the world, but they get so triggered because a Democrat said it, and also it's a, a Muslim black Democrat. So now, if you bring up facts, you hate America. Whereas when Trump would do it, oh, he's correct, he's right, and it makes sense. Just like when Trump, his whole thing was make America great again. 
Meaning, right now, it's not great. He would say, our country's falling apart, everything's terrible, everything's shit. And the right would go, yeah! When Ilhan Omar says the same things, oh my god, you hate America, love it or leave it, get out of here. The double standard is so annoying. For the love of god, think about the actual fucking issue instead of who's saying some shit. If you take anything away from this segment, let it be that. Think about the actual issue in question as opposed to who's saying it. I don't care who says it. If it's true, it's true. That's the end of it. People always twist themselves into these shitty partisan pretzels. Like, be an adult. Be serious. Use your brain. Obviously we've done un unthinkable atrocities. Obviously we've done crimes against humanity. And by the way, that's not to say we've never done anything good. Of course we've done great things. The New Deal was absolutely phenomenal. The War on Poverty was phenomenal. The First Amendment is... One of the best things that any government has ever done, ever. There are enlightenment values that if we actually live up to them are great. Democracy, if we actually live up to it, is great. We've done a lot of great things. I'll talk about the great things, and I'm also going to talk about the shitty things. Don't tell me I, I can only talk about one or the other, because that's fucking stupid. It makes no sense. Of course I'm going to talk about both things. But they lost it. They melted down because she said something obvious. Don't be one of these mindless drones. No pun intended by using drones. Don't be one of them. This is a non-scandal scandal yet again. Anything, they, anything she says, they pounce on. As if it's always unreasonable. This is the most reasonable thing anybody's ever said. It's just descriptive. If you don't like that, maybe you're a triggered snowflake and you should get the fuck over it.